Annie. Hi, how are you? Good. Wow, your room is so big. What type is it? It's a closet double. Okay, are you ready to get started? Yes, let's do this. Okay, first question, what year are you? I'm a second year. What major are you? Computer science. Where are you from? I'm from the Bay Area. Hmm, so do you prefer LA or the Bay Area? Ooh, I would say I've lived in the Bay almost my entire life, so it's gotten a little boring. While I do like it, I prefer LA more right now. Why did you choose UCLA? I really wanted to come down to Southern California for college, and I really like the culture at UCLA. Are you happy you chose it? Definitely. I don't think I would have been happier anywhere else. Why did you choose computer science? Uh, I really like the possibilities and potential of CS, and in high school I dabbled a little bit in coding and I found it really interesting. How would you describe the difficulty of the major? It is pretty intense at times, but I'd say it's not too hard if you learn how to manage your time well, which took me a little bit of time to get used to, but it's not too bad overall. How much homework do you generally have? I would say it depends on the class. Some classes are project-based, so there's a lot of um, work that goes into it, but other classes, it's not too bad. What classes are you taking right now? I'm taking CS 180, which is algorithms, uh, Math 170E, which is a probability elective, and an Asian American Studies GE. How's the quarter going? It's going pretty well. I'm adjusting to in-person classes, and it's been a great time so far. I like my classes this quarter. What's been one of your favorite memories at UCLA so far? I have a lot of favorite memories as far as shoes, but I think one thing that I really liked was Brewing Bash, which was the beginning of your concert, because that was actually the first concert I've been to. What clubs are you in? I'm in Daily Brin, which is UCLA's student newspaper, um, LA Hacks, which is our annual hackathon that UCLA puts on, and a satellite research mission called El Perno. So if you have free time, what do you like to do? Uh, I really like to write and journal, so I like um, keep a daily journal, and I also like to write songs, so sometimes you'll just see me in my room writing with my guitar. What do you like to do on the weekends? I really like to go out and explore LA. I really like the city, and there's so much to do, so me and my friends are always going to some scenic place where What's your favorite thing about living in LA? Just how much there is going on. I feel like there's always something interesting to be doing. You're never bored. What's the worst thing about living in LA? Definitely the traffic. It takes forever to get anywhere. You can't measure distance in terms of distance. You measure it in time. I agree. <laughs> so you still always ranked first in the nation for their food. What's your favorite dining hall? I would say it's really hard to choose, but my favorite has to probably be Epicuria because it has a lot of good pasta and pizza. When you're not in a dining hall, what's your favorite restaurant nearby? Um, I really like Hot Pot and there's a really nice Hot Pot place in Westwood called Northern Cafe. What song do you have on repeat right now? Cruel Summer by Taylor Swift. What's your favorite place to cry? Oh boy, probably the sculpture garden. It's very quiet at night, so no one can see me being sad. How are in-person classes treating you? They're treating me pretty well. I think that being forced to go in person to an actual lecture hall is both good and bad. It's fun. It makes me feel more like a real college student, but getting up for those 8 a.m. classes, not that fun. What's the coolest thing that's happened to you in this past week? I think I went to downtown LA and Little Tokyo with my friend, which was really nice. What's one thing that you're looking forward to this weekend? Uh, my high school friend is actually visiting from Davis, so it's going to be really fun. I'm going to take her around LA. When do you normally wake up? It depends. I have 8 a.m. classes twice a week, so I get up at 6.45 for those. But when I don't have class, it's really bad. I get up around noon. What's your favorite class that you've taken at UCLA? It's hard to choose, but I think I really enjoyed CS35L. It's a software construction laboratory, and I felt like I learned a lot from that class. What's your favorite place to study on campus? I really like the sculpture garden and also the libraries. What's your number one tip to succeed in college? Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Go out of your comfort zone. I can't tell you how much this has benefited me in the long run. What's your best tip for doing well in classes? Uh, I would say don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it and make sure that you're going to office hours, talking to your TAs if you need help, and also make sure you're on top of your work, don't procrastinate, as hard as that might seem. What's your pet peeve about UCLA? How many hills and stairs there are everywhere? Just to get back to my room, I have to climb up four flights of stairs. It's not fun. What's a UCLA stereotype that holds true? I think that people are work hard, play hard. I definitely see a lot of both, and it's it's a good mixture to have. What's your favorite thing about UCLA? Uh, I would say the campus is so pretty, especially when you're walking around at twilight or at sunset. It's so gorgeous. 
What's your favorite activity to do with friends? I would say go on walks or get boba, get food. It's always just a nice time to have really nice conversations together. What's your best memory from this quarter? Uh, I've been watching the sunrise a lot and going on walks around campus and it's just such a peaceful and serene feeling. What's one thing that's been on your mind lately? Um, I'm feeling really bittersweet and sad that the quarter is coming to an end. I feel like this year has been really great and also really bad, but at the end of the day, I'm sad that it's all coming to an end and some of my friends are graduating and it's just the change feels kind of weird. What's the most awkward moment from this year? Oh my god, I was at a club retreat and we were in a cabin and I was outside on the balcony and so I wanted to walk back inside. But the problem was that I didn't see that there was a screen on the sliding door, so I thought it was open. So I walked in and I ripped the entire screen off, and everyone in the house just collectively paused for a second and stared at me. Not fun. What's a piece of advice that you could give your freshman self? Um, hang in there. You are stronger than you think, and things might be tough, but you are definitely tougher. How balanced is social life and academics as a CS major at UCLA? I would say it's pretty balanced if you know how to manage your time. I definitely don't have an issue with balancing both going out with friends and also making sure I'm on top of my classes. But I do know from experience that if you let yourself go a little bit at the start of the quarter, it becomes kind of hard to manage that. How's the party culture at UCLA? I would say it's definitely there, and I've been to a couple parties. They're pretty fun if you're into that, but personally, I'm not a huge party person, and you definitely don't feel like you're missing out just because you don't go to parties. How do you describe the culture of UCLA generally, and then more specifically, UCLA CS? I would say generally, UCLA is a very work hard, play hard kind of school, so it's really nice because you get the best of both worlds. And as for UCLA CS, it is pretty competitive. People are very good at what they do. However, you never feel like you're not supported, and the TAs, classmates, everyone is really willing to help you understand your concepts. What are your favorite places to visit in LA? I really like the beach, so Santa Monica Pier and Venice Beach are really, really nice spots. Um, I've also really like going to the Getty and Griffith Observatory. What's one lesson that this year has taught you? Oh boy, definitely that time heals everything. I've been through a lot this year, unfortunately, both good and bad, and with everything, I've learned that time makes things feel better. How are internship opportunities coming from UCLA CS? They're pretty strong. I'd say uh, their career fairs have a lot of big companies sending recruiters, which is really good for networking and opportunities. And other than that, I do think that the UCLA name helps with finding internships. Would you stay in LA postgrad? It depends on the job opportunities. I really like LA, but I also know that tech opportunities are really good in the Bay, Seattle, and New York City. What's your favorite self-care activity? I really like to go and walk by myself at night and I'll sit down near this area actually and just take out my journal and write and think about life. What do you think of the quarter system? Oh boy, love-hate relationship. The quarter system is very good in that it pressures you to work hard and you are learning a lot of stuff in a very short amount of time, which makes you feel productive, but at the same time, it can get intense and I think I've definitely gotten burned out by it. What's the hardest lesson that you've learned in college? I think the fact that not everyone is meant to stay in your life forever and sometimes that's just an inevitable fact of life. Um, however, what you can do is just cherish every moment you have with the people that you love. What are your plans for the summer? I'm interning at Microsoft as a software engineer in Seattle. What are you looking forward to in the next school year? Definitely taking more CS-oriented classes since I'll be done with most of my lower division classes and I can focus more on CS electives and also just meeting more people, getting involved in more clubs, and having a great time. Well, it was great getting to know you. Yeah, it was really nice chatting with you too. If you want to see more content from me, make sure to like and subscribe. I will be releasing more content soon. And for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.